What's up, Pizza Holics? Behind me is the Urban Coal House. Urban Coal House Pizza and Bar. We got a coal fired pizza on our hands, guys. Let's go eat. This place looks legit. Really lively inside. The oven was beautiful. How does the pizza look? How does the pizza look? I'm looking at it for the first time, just like you are. Let's open this bad boy. Now, uh, I wanted to do coal fired because I just had a coal fired pizza the other day when I reviewed the pizza over uh, at Campania, which I loved. Uh, I mean, I, I liked it a lot. Maybe I didn't love it, but I liked it a lot. As for this pie, uh, you don't know till you taste it. it. It looks okay. I'm going bubble first. Actually, I'm going char first. That's the most charred slice right there. Little uneven speckling going on. He got some char over there. I told him a little on the well done side. Some speckling right there. Not bad. Right, I'm, I'm bitching. I'm bitching too much. Grab a damn slice and taste it. Oh, that's how I like my bottoms. Ooh. Mm mm mm. That sauce just hit me strong all you coal-fired fanatics it's safe to say you're not going to be too disappointed when you come to urban coal house that slice went down in four bites four bites the crust is so light it melts in your mouth to the point where you can scarf down a slice in four bites guys I'm telling you four bites look at that look how airy that is guys look at that huh all right guys it's about that time to move into the lab and analyze coal house pizza urban coal house guys now the pizza was really good it was good it was straight up good I love the crust it was nice and light it was a good delicate chewy crust a little a little crisp towards the back as you can hear guys check that out some crackling going on as you bend it but not much the crisp level wasn't crazy love that guys love that love to see some soot on the fingers it reminds me of a, a wood-fired neapolitan more than a coal-fired pizza the speckling and it's a little airier than the usual coal-fired pizza guys good balance of airiness delicate chew and subtle crunch towards the back only unfortunately i have to dock some points because the crust was just not crispy enough for a coal-fired pie it felt too much like a Neapolitan. The texture of that crust reminded me more of a typical wood-fired Neapolitan pizza than a coal-fired pizza. On a coal-fired pizza, you want it to be a little crispier. I uh, wasn't getting anything from the first bites, second and third bites. Salty pizza guys if you love salt, you know me guys. I told you last time I love salt. I love salt And this pizza's got plenty of it and a lot of it is coming from that Grated parmigiano grana pecorino nacho grated hard cheese pulpy sauce ladies and gentlemen pulpy a little runny too not exactly a thick pasty sauce not by far guys occasionally you may run into a patch of cheese only occasionally guys occasionally for the most part this thing is distributed perfectly as they would say in old jersey times perfectly new jersey baby but uh, i want to show you this right here guys look at that is that garlic is that chopped garlic i didn't really get too much of a garlic vibe uh, on, on this pizza so I'm just, I'm just thinking that's just dried up grated cheese that uh, dried up because it was on the cheese and not on the sauce look at the color of that tomato bright but there was a, a little hint of sourness a little, 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 little hint of sourness a little tiny bit of hint of sourness guys um, but it wasn't crazy it wasn't enough to throw me off I'm not sure what that is I'm thinking basil 
I'm thinking basil. There's not much of it. It may be oregano. I don't know. I didn't get too much of it. You see that? There's not too many herbs on this pizza. There are herbs present, but not in abundance, and it's hard to pick out. I'm thinking oregano. I don't know. I may have to taste this one when I do the cold test and kind of figure that out. Uh, I don't want to go anywhere before I talk about that cheese, guys. It was fantastic. Beautiful milk content, intense nutty flavor, very rich, uh, not too greasy. Look at the color of that beautiful cheese. It's the type of cheese that uh, I, I can't tell. It, it's like in between fresh mozzarella and low moisture. All right, guys, it's about that time. The pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. Let's go. Let's grab it. Let's fold it. All right, uh, like a typical coal-fired pizza or a wood-fired pizza, it didn't crackle as much on the bend. When these pizzas cool down, they get a little chewy. They start to lose their crisp. Look at that bottom. Order this thing well done. If you love char, order it well done because this is how it looks when you order it well done. Uh, but I must say there are some patches. Look at that. A little pale spot there. A little pale spot. But it's not enough to... Uh, it's not pale where we're going to move it down the scale. No, no, no. This pizza is mostly beautiful on the bottom. Getting into the habit of picking up other slices. Look at that, guys. Looky, looky, looky. I want to get one more bite before I score it. Uh, pizza seemed to lose its crunch as it cooled. Guys, I'm going round eight. Round eight, I haven't done that in like a year. Rookie score, don't care. Round eight, hard to decide between seven, nine, and the eight one. Despite the lack of crunch, guys, really delicate, chewy crust, melts right in your mouth. Cold fired pizza, a little sour sauce, uh, not enough to really make me detract too much. I like the pulp. I like it. it's nice and runny, salty, beautiful pizza on our hands, guys. Eight. Round eight. Haven't done that in a while, I'm telling you. If you're in Red Bank, New Jersey, come on down to Urban Coal House. I'm telling you guys, this one ain't bad. So uh, smash that like, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, subscribe if you haven't already uh if you want to donate you can hit the tab on my on my cover banner or the link is or you can find the link in the description uh thanks for you guys who've been tipping it's encouraging you know i'm doing more videos getting these tips it encourages me to go out and do more videos and and drive out to places and uh so thanks again for for all you guys who've donated sk sk one of my biggest contributors big fan last week thanks again guys really appreciate it cheers Here's to good health for the rest of 2021 and beyond. Until next time, keep your bellies full, preferably with some good old coal fired pizza. This is Antonio signing off. Mm -hmm.